Hello, my souls, and welcome back to Scarlet Nexus. Oh. <sighs> it's an Aki snack. Yeah, it is. Also, hello, Aki snack. Num. Also, hello, Aiden. Hello, Andy. Uh, hey, Nix. That's not how first works in this, uh channel. Hate to point that out. You don't get it for being the first one to actually type it. You get it for being the first one on uh, this thing right here. So you see this chat? The first one of these that pops up, they're the one that gets first. Reason being is because a long time ago we had a dude who would come in the second I posted, which usually was up to six hours before stream, and type first. So we set rules. There we go. <coughs> also... This thing is fucking my undershirt from work, and god damn, it feels funky. Also, for those of you who are on the Discord, you would have already seen this little in bit of info, but guess what? I had a fucking panic attack in the middle of class. Yeah, I don't do public speaking very well. Y'all might not believe that because of how often you see me doing it on fucking camera but let me tell you there's a big difference between me talking to a camera because yeah i know there's there's a bunch of you out there hi all i can see is this fucking thing this fucking camera thing here and doing it with 30 people in front of you watching uh, watching giggling whenever you fuck up a word or uh you know when you've got members of your team standing next to you straight up bitching about your factoring or when you've got people straight up staring at you that you can see much different and it causes major anxiety for me hey kid i'll be right back gonna grab a blanket okay doke Aki, Aiden, and, uh, Aiden and Andy, yeah, triple A. Nah. Uh, Andy, I wouldn't say you're addicted to it. I'd say you like it, but I don't think you're addicted to it. Reason being is because I can tell you I'm addicted to something myself. I can't go a day without it. At least not at the moment. I want a to. A day without point. what? This. For me, this is like a cigarette now. And it pisses me right the fuck off because that's how I was when I was 16. But oh well. For the moment, it's probably going to stay that way because guaranteed the level of stress I've been under lately, I ain't going to be able to quit a fucking addiction. I can barely keep myself sane. Like, I can barely keep myself as sane as what you guys have seen recently. Hey, Andy. Understand, I know somebody who is actually legitimately clinically diagnosed with addiction to caffeine in the form of soda. You bought a 12-pack Coca-Cola. That's cute. They would kill four 24-packs a day. Like I said, I don't think you're addicted to it. I think you like it. 
I don't think you're addicted to it. I actually know someone who also has a medical addiction to caffeine. Mm -hmm. Knew somebody. I see. I saw him go through actual withdrawals. Yep. Uh, the person I was talking about when they first started trying to wean themselves off of uh, caffeine, the withdrawals were so bad the first night, it spiked a fever, and fucking caused them to shake so hard that they straight up could not get out of bed. You could hear their bed shaking against the wall. It wasn't that bad. It was just like a severe headache and that type and like sensitivity to light and that type of stuff. No, the you person, could still function. The person I'm talking about had been drinking that much for like 15 years straight. That person was straight up addicted. <laughs> So, like, th this person would go through anywhere between one to three 24 packs a day. Like, there was not a second of the day you didn't see them with a can, a bottle, or a fucking two liter. One of the three. This straight up was a person, uh, this was a person that straight up would crack a two liter open like a 12 ounce and drink it almost as fast. Oh. Hey kid, I need to ask you a question. What's up? You have the Metro games. Yes, I do. I've already, in fact, I've already streamed Metro, uh, the first one. Because all three of them are on sale right now. Cool. I've got Last Light and Redux. Also... Fatal Frames 4 and 5 are now on Xbox. Yes! Fuck yeah! Okay, so Fatal for those who don't know, Fatal Frame is one of my favorite horror games. They're favorite horror series. Right now. Golden, I am broke as all fuck. <laughs> but, there, there, but no, I can tell you right now though, <coughs> if you ever play 5, <coughs> the difficulty way up. Oh yeah, I'm aware. I, I play them usually on fucking the hardest difficulties. No, They're too easy. No, like... No, like... <laughs> since it was a Wii U game, it's even easier. Yeah, no, I'm I'm aware. Trust me, I'm aware. I've played it. Middle Frame 5? Yeah. I haven't beaten it. I've played chunks of it. A buddy of mine had it on the Wii U. <laughs> it was boring. It was, unless you jacked the fucking difficulty way the absolute fuck up. And even then, the story was a little shit. Like, compared to three? Oh my god. No. Even then. Like, there's a reason why you've never played four, though. Oh, was that? Because it was a Japan-only exclusive for the longest time. Oh, that's right. Still, I wish they would bring Quan uh, or Kwan to the uh, Xbox. So do I. It was an amazing game, and I wish, I wish, I wish I could share it with you guys. It was but one of the. like a thousand bucks, though. I'm aware. It was one of the oh. best horror games I've ever played. The mythos in it, the attention to detail that they put it was someone's fucking absolute labor of love to make that game another game that i recommend not for the gameplay but for the story deadly premonition Deadly Premonition's graphics were so trash, I gave up on it on the first level when I first played it. Like, in the very first area, I gave up on it because the fucking... The graphics are so trash. 
The graphics are trash. The gameplay is trash. Oh god. The story though. The fucking the the. Oh god. I I forgot about the clunky ass fucking combat mechanics it had. No, the story though. You you really couldn't oh, call my... it combat. No, the story was amazing. Like, it was like. Yeah, no, it straight up. When it first, 80s. like, when I first played it, it was one of those graphics suck, gameplay sucks. Nope, sorry, taking this back. I was a but kid literally. then. I played it through in my like late twenties, and I'm sitting here going, "Why didn't I play this sooner?" Oh, right, because it looks like ass. <laughs> It looks like ass plays like ass has an amazing story. Dude, on normal, if you don't know what the hell you're doing, the first area is nigh impossible. Because okay, you remember the hut? Like not the hut, but oh. like the little shack where it doesn't yes. tell you what the fuck you're supposed to do. The exit is not goddamn obvious at all. It is the most convoluted puzzle I have ever gone through, and that is saying something coming from the person. Who creates fucking DND puzzles that make people suicidally mad? <laughs> like, I've straight made puzzles for DND that people have punched me over. And I couldn't de and I couldn't even get through this thing's first puzzle because of how trash it was. When I like when I first played it. Took me like two hours to get through it the second time when I actually decided, okay, I'm gonna sit through it, give it a try. It is the most stupid fucking thing because it is literally just fucking touch the wall in a very pixel perfect spot. Only problem is, when I say pixel perfect, one or two pixels one way, no response. One or two pixels the other way. You get a response from something clear across the room. This is why everybody plays the game on easy. A good ass game, though. Like, it sucks ass when it comes to gameplay or fucking what have you, but the story was good. There's a reason it has a fucking cult following. Like, it, it's... It's one of those games like Mother. Like the original Mother. Which, if you have never played it, plays like shit. It has the stupidest, stupidest, most convoluted fucking uh, systems in it that are so redundant and so stupid and so absolutely bullshit. The story is beyond phenomenal. And it is straight up the game that gave uh, that gave uh, gaming the quote run the hippies are coming. Hey kid. Yes. I tried recommending De Deadly Premonition to my friends. They played it and it's like, why would you recommend to me this hot garbage? It's like, yeah, the game Play it on garbage. easy. Focus on the story. <coughs> also, you know Suda51? Hold on. Aiden, describe the game. Guaranteed I can fucking tell you what one it is. Like, give me a synopsis of, like, the first chunk of the game. If you can remember it. Or, like, what the game was about, if you can remember. You do that, type it out. I'll be right back. I need to go grab a drink because I'm dehydrated as is all shit.
I will also be right back. Water. So, for the record, Mother 2 is Earthbound. Ah. Uh... Was it by chance a uh, character in a red coat with a katana? <laughs> like, what was the... Describe the main character if you can. That'll help quite a bit. By the way, I got my reptilian this TD here. So, I'm all good, and if you're wondering what the fuck I'm talking about, Gatorades. Also, I got myself something special. Yeah, hey, Nyx, apparently some dude fucks a chicken in that series, so careful! What is it lately with fucking things like gaming and movies and what have you dealing with things like uh, bestiality in situations like that? <coughs> it's called No More Heroes, Aiden. Nick, so apparently there's a character that fucks a chicken. If the character has the black, like, pompadour hair, but, like, super fucking, like, poof, uh, the, like, spectacle, like, circular spectacles, red coat, katana, and it's super, like, psychedelic looking, that's No More Heroes. <laughs> Funniest thing is, I haven't even fucking played that game, and I know that game. I played it. Also, <laughs> Kit. What's up? You ever heard of Suda51? Understand, gaming is one of my passions, so answer your own question. He made, he was the guy who, he was one of the people who made, um, Fatal Frame 4. Uh-huh, I'm aware. The guy didn't like, the guy doesn't like horror games. No, he doesn't. It's one of the reasons why Fatal Frame 4 is a goofy fucking Fatal Frame instead of it being like 1 and 2, which were absolutely terrifying. Fucking 2 is the absolute worst for jump scares, though. But it's still the best Fatal Frame, in my opinion. It is, but just about every fucking enemy jump scares the shit out of you. Because, nah, it's fine. You're not going to fucking bring up your camera and see them across the room. No. They're going to be right here, bitch. Every single time. Every new encounter. Literally, it's like they're grabbing your camera lens, screaming at it. It just dawned on me. Why is my base a malformed chode? <laughs> I 
<sighs> Why is my base a chode with malformed balls? One slightly bigger than the other. And one of them has a dot. It's a birthmark. I need to stop that. <laughs> Part of the story am I on? Oh right, I'm on fucking Eternal Vow Bond. Uh, Eternal Bond. Instead of emergency declared in Suo, and there's no people around. Yudo has the. Oh right. That's right. Nagi just died. I forgot about that. Go to the Arahabaki Ara secure site. Right. I, I, I very much need to train more. Like, guaranteed, I need to level up. My brain... Look what my brain did when I heard the name Nagi. What? Who's Nagi again? <laughs> He's your character's best friend throughout most of his life. Who also isn't part of this fucking story for some reason 90% of the time. You're my best friend. Wait, where are you going? You're my best friend. Why aren't you here with me through the worst moments of my life? Oh, because you're off doing something else, even though you're part of the, my platoon. Why are you off doing something else? Because you got brainwashed on, like, the first fucking mission. You look like Kingpin from the Daredevil show. Zephyr. Numb. <coughs> You've become my greatest enemy. You are my best friend still. I'm going to have to kill you, but you're still my best friend. Then again, I get where he's coming from, too, because that would be like fucking me and Rick suddenly in a fight to the death because one of us got brainwashed. Which, either way that goes, yeah, neither of us is gonna fucking, like, throw a fight just because we're friends, but at the same time, it's gonna suck if we ever wound up in a fight to the death and had, like, there is no other choice. So I can understand that. Like, to an insane degree, I can understand that. Hey, kid. <clears throat> uh, Aiden, don't you mean a throat off? Or a throat down? Who can deep throat the biggest cock? Arden! Yeah, that's a way to fucking assert dominance if you were a gay over another gay. Just deep throat the bigger dick. By the way, for the record, if you hadn't figured this out, these are jokes. Cool. Do I have any relationship bullshit? Nope. We're gonna go to Era. Uh, to Era. We're gonna go to Arahabaki. When we hit standby phase, it's gonna be training. But first, let me see. Can I shove something into my pockets? Ha <laughs> ha! 
Yes. You just are, you, you just you just pres I've been thinking about it, the bet the one of the best friendships I've ever had in a D and D game. Yes. And I bet you know who I'm thinking about. Nexus and Burb. Or Creed and Burp. Yes. See that that's the thing. That's not a D and D game though. That's better than a well a tabletop game. <laughs> nah, it's TOF. Not D and D. TOF. Tales of the Forsaken. Yep, and technically it's based in the Toe universe. What universe? Toe universe. T O E. Tales of what? What do you think? What does E stand for in this world? In this context. You should know this! Oh, god damn it, my brain did the stupid. <laughs> Tales of Athorian, T O E. It's the Toe universe. <laughs> One of the reasons why I swear we should call any person who plays uh, Tales of the Forsaken, we should call them Beans, because that means they would legitimately be Toe Beans. Also, no. Insert, insert low-hanging fruit joke, the Dan Schneider joke. I thought I was the low-hanging fruit, though. Sorry, I need to stop that! <laughs> Get why I said that though, right? Why? The Dan Schneider joke. <coughs> nah, burp. Enlighten me. I'd rather not get it. Ah! <coughs> oh. That's a very, very disgusting man. <coughs> Ah, that was a hit gone fucking foul. Ugh. Hey, Aiden. There is a swarm outside your nest. <coughs> Why is the Arahabaki secured site's first area called the Bridge of Purity? I'm sorry, it's starting to feel very much like the Suo City fuckers are just modern day wokists. Isn't it feeling a little like that? <laughs> Control by any means necessary for the greater good. Uh, terrible things in uh, terrible things done in the name of progress, and naming shit around your central th uh, sites things like Bridge of Purity. Sorry, by the way, had to get that off my chest because there are sites with names like that all over California. And it bugs the crap out of me. We legitimately have a place called the Unity Tunnel. Which, the funniest thing in recent history is the fact that the Unity Tunnel suddenly had something like 60 homeless people kicked out of it one night, one night, like, 
four or so months ago. Because apparently it was not okay for them to seek shelter in a large tunnel. Or large long tunnel. Hey, Zephyr. Yeah, uh, watching with, like, other people around that you might, you know, be embarrassed around. That, that's understandable, Zephyr. Uh, but on that, uh, my brain there is just kind of, eh? Hey, kid. Yes. But that first head just reminded me of something that happened that happens at work. What's that? I have a coworker who's constantly listening to Alex Jones of all people, like out loud at work. His old stuff or his current stuff? Current. Not as bad. Because, uh, I need to point something out. I've listened to some of Alex Jones's more recent stuff. If it was his, like, fucking early to mid info wars or what have you era, <laughs> I'll listen to that as a meme. No, it's more or less like you're doing it at, a, like, at work where everyone can hear it. Yeah, no, at work? Nah, fucking. Wear a headset, motherfucker. I mean, I've, I've walked into work listening to Tim Pool. But at the same time, I'm not sitting there blaring it. Please, it, when it comes to, like, work, or school, or what have you, if you're listening to something political, listen to it with a headset on. If you don't, understand people are going to come up and try to fucking thwap you. From both sides, oh, mostly because, sorry, you're giving everyone a bad name because you're being an inconsiderate douche nozzle. If you're no, listening to something to, I agree with, if it's listening to something to I didn't agree with, him. why? Why are, why are you listening to that crap? I understand. Let's have a conversation instead of listening to that crap. If you really want to have the conversation, we'll have a conversation. But please turn off this idiot. I'm trying to remember what the fuck his name was. I, there was this one YouTuber that Baring had beef with back in the days of Anita Sarkeesian. He was this skinny white dude with a, like, Riker-style really short beard and a, uh, always had a baseball cap on. And he was just... Unbelievably close minded moronic individual. I actually had a friend who straight up was going, You gotta listen to this guy. <laughs> cool. What are you talking about? Oh, he was joking about how pretty much all people outside your political uh, compass need to be rounded up and shot. You agree? Do you agree with this? <laughs> God damn it, now his name's gonna bug the fuck out of me. Hold on. God damn it.
This was YouTube, uh... Oh, that reminds me. I, I should also point out, the dude was a male feminist. Like, back during third wave feminism, he was a male feminist. God damn this by the way I'm aging myself cuz this was back before Shuan head and fucking uh This was back during the By the way, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this move to the bridge of purity because I have a feeling there's gonna be dialogue or a thing. I was right. I hope the key card we got from Major General Fubuki gets us through. Are we inside Arahabaki? This feels different than the place we visited on that field trip. I don't recognize it at all. It's installed below Suo. It goes down pretty far, but only the upper levels are open to the public. I believe this is the secure site where they control it. <laughs> Fubuki was only allowed restricted access, so we don't know much. We should be able to access it from somewhere around here. It doesn't look like there's anyone suspicious around. But I do see that it's softly big in there. Got it. Tell me when you see something. First, let's look for an access terminal. Kaito wouldn't even listen to us about stopping the war with Seiron. It seemed like he stopped listening as soon as he heard Togetsu was involved. He was shocked. He didn't think you'd turn against him. Yeah. I was surprised too. But I'm glad I said what I wanted to. You didn't have many opportunities to speak frankly with the chief? <laughs> Not at all. We've never been close. My brother has always followed in our father's footsteps, unlike me. I think my brother just did what he thought was right. I still can't forgive him, though. Just because you're brothers doesn't necessarily mean you understand each other. There was a lot I didn't get about my brother. Former Major General Karin seems like he's a bigger problem than my brother. <laughs> Us younger brothers have it hard. <laughs> we do. Something's coming at 10 o'clock. Is that... another? What? People use this place. What's an other doing here? I see it too. Did someone realize you were there and lure it in? Maybe... no. There's no point thinking about that. We just have to be careful. The connection is bad inside Ara Habaki. It might take time for me to receive the video data. Understood. Go as fast as you can. Okay, I still cannot find this dude. And it's gonna bug the ever-loving shit out of me.
Also, Night Zephyr! Hello, Nexus. Oh, I, I know who it is now. Who? Vegan Games. Vegan Games? Who, who is that? Hold up. Hey, uh, who were we just talking about? Like, was he that the bearing? The guy bearing it was talking about bearing. No, not the crazy one. Not the crazy one. Not the one that straight up threatened his life. The one that was always super sarcastic. Like I said, very specifically, white guy, thin beard, hat. Remember that one? Oh my god, he was one of like the mid level. It it turned out he was the kind of guy that literally tried claiming to be feminist to try to get pussy. Hunter Avalon? No, I said mid tier. <laughs> Oh my god, it's gonna bug the fuck out of me. I've gotta just straight up. I'm gonna put it off until later. And I'm gonna do a fucking deep dive when I have time into who the fuck it was. And I'll tell you guys next stream. Because I have wasted too much fucking time trying to figure it out. Apologies for that, everybody. Let's get to the fucking game. Hi, Nexus! Hi. I think I came in at a weird time. You came in at a fucky time! Because I'm fairly certain you won't know. Because you weren't, you, you weren't really that old that back then. What show are you talking about? Or Not show, maybe? YouTuber. Okay. A male feminist YouTuber with a thin beard... White dude always wore a baseball cap. Turned out he was literally just doing it to try to get laid. And still failed. Beef okay, with yeah, people no, like I'm Bering, too young for that. Beef with people like Bering, uh, Sargon of Akkad, and... Uh, what's his name? Not Undoomed. He was actually before Undoomed, I think. Yeah, I have no I idea. I know it's not Spiffing Brit. It's the dude who always showed up in a suit of armor. Armored Skeptic? Armored Skeptic, yeah. Hell, Armored Skeptic did a whole fucking video on him once. 
Like, he was one of the low to mid tier male feminist YouTubers. Who was in the male feminist last time I remembered? Who? Armored Skeptic? No, Armored Skeptic did a video on the guy. Effectively making fun of him for the fact that he fucking sided with Anita Sarkeesian saying that it was sexist that uh, male heroes in uh, like video games have to be these buff impossible to maintain or impossible to become and impossible to maintain things. And she was claiming that it was straight up sexist for all of the wrong reasons and claiming it was sexist against women. I just looked over and... Wait, who messed up rice? Wait, how did you mess up rice? Like, what did you... What kind of rice? Because I know your ass isn't gonna tell me you fucked up <laughs> boiling rice. Because I'm sorry, if you fucked up boiling rice, that is too adorable. <laughs> Why do I get a feeling that Tunuki is about to glare at me? By the way... Oh, over the stove. Okay. That makes it a little easier. Oh, no, that was a question. Like, I can understand if you were doing it over a stove, but... Then again, I'm... I'm I, I keep forgetting that I've... I've literally made over a thousand pots of rice. So, it could also just be that I am... At a point where I've done it so often and so many times that it, it's I could make a pot of rice literally while I'm sleeping. <laughs> and probably get it right. But admittedly, I, I, I think I fucked it up a couple times too myself when I was, you know, learning. What about you, Nexus? It's a dead end. What are we talking we about again? Burning we'll rice. the bridge. <laughs> Or no, oh, correction, God. not burning, not burning rice, fucking up rice. That means it's Yuito's time to shine. Quite a bit. Fuck, I have a friend who set rice, rice on one. fire. Understand? That's when I was first making risotto for the first time, and I made really freak that up. You just reminded me of something that happened at work because I had a dude straight up blow up a fucking blender by lighting rice on fire inside of it. Oh, sweet lol. <laughs> I wish this were a joke. One of the guys in my class, in the work study I'm in, managed to effectively light a blender on fire because he was trying to make rice flour. And thought it would be okay to just dump all of the rice in, and he hit it onto the highest setting, and leave it there. He created a friction fire inside the thing, and if we had not smelled the burning quicker, like if we have not had not smelled the burning as quickly as we did, the bottom layer of it was powdered and aerosolizing inside it. If that had suddenly <laughs> gone up, there would have been an explosion. <laughs> the dude nearly made a bomb with rice in a blender. <laughs> like, straight up nearly made a fucking firebomb with rice, and, uh, rice in a blender. And yes, I mean dry rice. Oh, Oh, God. Aki. 
You turned it into fucking rubber, didn't you? Because if memory serves, if you let the water cool while it's cooking, you effectively get super fucking gummy, sticky rice. Like, bad kind of gummy. I know that one from experience, by the way, so I've... I... Oh, it just undercooked. Okay. I thought... I've straight up left it in a weird way. Because it left the water hot enough for... Wait. How much salt did you have in your water? <laughs> cool, that would be the difference. <laughs> so, salted water freezes at a lower temperature and stays hot much longer. I always salt my water for rice. Um, I made the mistake of leaving it off the heat long enough that it cooled to room temperature, and I wound up with effectively overcooked and simultaneously undercooked rice. So it was kind of gelatinized together with this rubber-like texture. Yeah. Yes. Careful. The nuggies are the nuggies are the nuggies. Okay, that worked. Nice. We can move forward now. Also, snuggle the Aki Snack. Um. Yeah, but this is also the guy that almost lit his own coat on fire. There's no way there should be others inside our Habaki, right? No, they shouldn't be in a sealed area like this. Maybe someone... <sighs> Never mind. That's a fast one. Use SAS, Yumiko. Fight speed with speed. <laughs> Good time. Here we go. Die a terrifying death, lady. Here we go. I can hit it. That was brilliant. Uh depends on how much rice I'm making, Ramon. Uh, I have made batches of rice as small as half a cup and as large as 12 pounds. Oh, that's 12 pounds factored uh, from uncooked, meaning 24 pounds of cooked in one pot. Do you know what 24 pounds of rice looks like? Nexus, that's a you question. What, 20-some pounds of rice 24 looks like? pounds of rice after it's been cooked. Like, 24 pounds of cooked rice. Do you know what that looks like? Christ, I can't say I, ha I do. <laughs> Have you ever seen those granite walkways oh sweet fucking lord have you ever looked at them in a magnifying class yeah that's about that's what it looks like <laughs> it 
kind of looks like fucking magnified granite. But straight up, it is just white fluffy. Not cloud oh, fluffy, fluffy, but just think of the texture of a bowl, like the visual texture of a bowl of rice. And then just copy and paste that in your mind to just everything you can see when you're staring into the pot. And the pot oh, is Lord. literally big enough to fit 12 of you in. Yeah, I hate to point out, it's a pot that's only about uh, from the ground that tall. So, like, that tall. And I'm, I'm, I'm sitting down, so understand that's not that tall. But it's big enough to fit. Like, 12 people in. Jesus Christ. Sitting down and everything, you could straight up, you could poach people in it. <laughs> a dozen at a time. <laughs> it is a giant-ass machine, too. It, there's no, like, actual stove underneath it. The whole fucking giant-ass pot is one giant machine. Have you ever seen one of those things? There, it's industrial kitchen. Uh, like it, if if you want an idea of what it looks like, look up industrial pot. <laughs> no, I don't have a pot that can cook people whole. I've worked with a pot that can cook people whole, and yes, one of the dangers of working it, it, with it is if you fall in, you will die. Like, straight up, you will cook alive. I've worked in a couple industrial kitchens. Come on! Lady, why are you? Here we go. Use it well. Okay, I really need to remember how to not do thingles. Thingles. Come on. I need support. Ah, I've been playing outward too fucking much. I keep trying to use the wrong buttons because it, I'm trying to use, like, spells. God, you're gonna be that kind of bullshit, aren't you? My pleasure. I have it. I need your eyes. <laughs> yeah, there's no way use to get in that without having like super speed and I don't have one of the super speed characters Ooh, excuse me. by the way we're just now at the hour mark so yeah Oh, num num. Also, uh, welcome back, Aki. What would you do with a pot that you could fit 12 people in? <laughs> the melting pot. <laughs> That's a bad analogy! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Cannibal Cafe's new melting pot. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, Aki sized fondue. Instead of dunking like little pieces, just straight up baguette. <laughs> Dunk baguettes like fries into it. <laughs> I could see that. <coughs> 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 
to cook enough rice for class. Covers are almost covers. So I'd say probably about four or five cups then. So it's hard to explain. I don't like measure the amount that I use. What I'll do is I will take a handful for that kind of, uh, for that kind of, uh, pot, take a handful, pour a pile about yay tall, and then just drop the whole thing in. <coughs> this, by the way, would be after washing the fucking rice. Because, I hate to point this out, 99% of all home cooks fail to fucking wash the rice. And then wonder, why does it never come out as good as at the restaurant? Because you don't wash the rice. But now you sound like that one guy. Do you know what comes off of rice? Starch. Yes. Do you know how they used to make fucking paper? In Japan. Right the rice. When they would make large oh. batches of rice, the water they would wash the rice in would then be placed on racks and allowed to d uh, just straight up evaporate down into layers of this super dense ever so slightly crispy stuff that they would then crush, rehydrate, allow it to, you know, uh, dissolve again and dry out again, rinse, repeat once or twice, you'd wind up with a nice, sturdy paper. That winds up in your food if you don't wash the rice. Which, don't get me wrong, if you're making like a risotto... Wash your uh, don't wash your rice, because some people love the starchy, uh, like starchiness in a risotto. But if you're like trying to make fried rice, or if you're trying to make like just normal rice, like white rice, wash it. By the way, can you tell my fucking brain has been in food mode for a couple weeks now? <laughs> That reminds me, is your final thing's over? No! No. It okay. hasn't started yet! Oh. Oops. Understand. I had a fucking panic attack in the middle of the intro class for my finals week. I'm a head chef, or rather, one of three head chefs in the kitchen now. Uh... For tomorrow, and the next day, and the next day. Oh my. Yeah. I'm gonna try my damnedest not to yell at anybody. Ooh. There's one individual in that kitchen who I swear they might they might get yelled at. And I know you might be watching this. And if you are, if I yell at you, don't take it too hard. I'm just an asshole. No worries. But in the moment, if I'm yelling at you, chances are I'm having a panic attack. Remind me to take my damn pill. Oh, and for those of you who don't know, I have a medication for when I have panic attacks. Called a panic pill. Uh, not going to say specifically what it is, but what it does is effectively shuts off my brain. Or, more accurately, my ability to uh, process emotions like terror. Like, more complex emotions like terror. So, 
in uh, easiest way to explain it, it stops my brain from screaming just long enough to get, get a grip on itself. Uh, yes, yeah, Saki? If it's what would happen... Oh. <laughs> ah, woo. Andy, so that is actually an excellent observation because that is the other reason to not wash your rice is because if you're trying to make it sticky you need the starch you don't let that water get dumped uh -huh. you put in just enough and let it boil away leave all the starch nice and sticky Hey, Kit. I think about food too much. What's up? You made, I mean, you made I me think of Uncle guys. Roger. No, if I was trying to make you, you know, uh, think of Uncle Roger, I would have gone off and said something along the lines of, if you don't wash your rice, you fucked up! The funniest thing is, guaranteed, if Uncle Roger sees any of my fucking, uh, like, food-related shit, it's going to be either one of my home-cooking things, which, guaranteed, any actual chef sees my home-cooking, they're gonna fucking roast the hell out of me. Might not be the case if they see my professional shit. But it's a it. fucking coin toss whether or not they see any of the professional shit because there is so little of it actually on YouTube. I should fucking take pictures and video more often of the shit I do. Like, I straight up work in a four star kitchen, guys. At least you're not Jamie Oliver. I look over talking about food and hear the swamp is, or see the swamp is cursed, and it's from fucking Aiden, and all I can think of is Aiden trying to fucking sound like Shrek, in the only voice I remember of Aiden back when Shrek was anything, you know, in my brain, which was back in, like, 2012. Thanks, Aiden, I just remembered you back when you were living here. Trying to do a Shrek impression. The worst part is you've done that. That's the only reason I can fucking hear that. Slammed, bitch! Why are there chest I don't know, why is this place called the fucking Bridge of Unity? Cause I think the fucking people who made this society are on something. Yes. Not even multiple, just yes, all of. That's that's the only answer that actually makes any fucking sense. The enemy's too fast to capture easily. Use SAS. Leave it to me. Come on. Get buckleberry. Huh. 
by random dead animals. That's a phrase. Gate one has opened. Fuck you! You didn't- you weren't even gonna open the goddamn thing without me going and finding it. Where are you? Where are you, game? You were gonna be that kind of dick. Yet. Because now I have a curiosity in my brain. Did finishing all of that by any chance? It's gonna be a no. Nope. Cool. So it's that one is meant for me, that one is probably meant for uh, Kaine. Or Kaine? That's an anime I forgot I'd seen. Where, what the fuck was that from? Because I'm fairly certain that's not her name. Kasane. There we go. Now it's gonna bug me. Where the fuck is Kaine from? This one's easy, much easier to figure the fuck out. If I knew where the fuck my phone was. Where's my charger? You lose your charger already? Kind of hard to lose a car. Where, where did I put my testicles? Hey, Kit. Yes. <laughs> There's only one name because I know that name Kaede from. Kaede. I heard Kaede. Not Kaede. Kaede. This might actually bug the fuck out of me now. Because where did my phone go? Okay, first you lose your charger, now you lost your phone. Damn, the dementia really is kicking in. <gasps> I found it! <laughs> I found a cord that I shouldn't have found. And it's inside my chair. <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> Where is the anime character Kaine from? Kaine sounds very familiar. Anime character Kaine. Not Connie. That's not her. Oh, fuck me. Brain derailing. I, I don't know. <laughs> Literally just gathering herbs, turn around carcass next to horse. What the fuck? All of the what the fuck, or all of the WTF there works. What the fuck, why the fuck, when the fuck, and who the fuck? No, the chair didn't eat it. Yes, Burb. Is 
The nuggies have brought you something. Yum. What have I been brought? By the way, would you like banana bread? That's the yum. Um. Ah, shit, I forgot to take cheesecake home with me. Fuck! <laughs> I was in too much of a hurry to get out of work. Actually, they'll bring you to Nexus instead. Hey, Nexus. Huh? They, they have it, they brought you a book. A book? Storybook? A pop-up book. Is it bedtime Maggie, for the Nuggies? We forgot when and... Uh... Who? No, we didn't forget who. But we did forget when. Mm. Should have put others halfway through that. That would have been perfectly fucked up. Kitty chick. Okay. This isn't good. At this rate. The fuck? I'm sorry, what? I will be right back, Kit. And yes, banana bread. Oh. I forgot I could take you all with me. Cool lady. Now I know who the fuck I'm fucking first. giving you that chance. Oh. Later, Raku. All right, take care. I 
feel the power coursing through me! Witness my strength! I'm feeling really good. How? goes for the Aki on the way out. You guys Pleasure. couldn't get fucking up there, could you? Sonic game. It sprayed something like oil. Don't get it on you. Support. That was a weird bullshit. I am back. I am Nexus. Hello, back. I'm gonna numb your face, numb. Hey, you want me to get a bird to numb your face off? If it's a particular crow, it wouldn't be my face he's numbing on. 
I didn't think it was a crow. I said a bird. Which bird? Because there's a particular bird that's very high and looking for munchies. The truck bird? Come, I have munchies and drugs to share. I know who you're talking about. I should drink. By the way, trying to keep an eye hmm. on the chat, I'm getting more distracting. Or, like, not distracting. I'm distracting myself more... Uh, the talk with the chat. <laughs> I mean, I don't mind it. It's fun. But... Ladle. Aiden, who the fuck and what the fuck did you piss off to make all of your horses start going stupid like that? <laughs> oh, wait. Hold on, question. <laughs> Have you come across the woman in the black dress? I know that's really vague, <coughs> but trust me, if you've seen the one I think that I'm thinking of, you'll know who it is. Okay, so you've met the lady. Okay. That would be why. It effectively adds the uh, old Red Dead Redemption uh, zombie mod mechanics for the horse, which was just straight up random bullshit can happen in some places. Like, have you ever found your horse munching on a dude? Because that's a random Easter egg possibility. By the way, it's Rockstar. If you didn't know that there were shit, there was shit like that in it, please. I'm about to do the stupid. Oh no, it's just that. Don't you do the stupid almost all the time, though? Yeah. Then again, how often do I do you? Oh, fuck you. <laughs> how are we doing on the video, Damn, Dale? I'm going to smoke a cigarette after the that fucking ready. roast. I don't even know. Jeez. Jeez. Go grab a cigarette, man. Oh, woo. Oh, 
this rate. You got to you got to be shitting me. You literally sleep. Thanks. Sorry for the trouble. <laughs> You're bullshitting me. Where did they go? Leave it to me. Pay attention. You okay? Get your ass whacked into the ground, you fuckle! Use it well. This is bad. Get slammed into the ground, you crush you, bitch. Let's do this, Nobby. There's a bridge, Yumito. We should be able to move forward if we lower that. Everyone, get back! What is this, though? <laughs> you make my brain go kaboom. Why are you there? somewhere else. Please look for a corresponding terminal nearby. You know everything, Luca. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> You're being that kind of dor uh, of dorky. Why? I'm not dealing with sane people in this culture, am I?
close. Come on, so this is it. Hey! Force it down, member. Go pick him the goddamn fuck up! Get stomped on, you bitch! Get fuckled on! Get fuckled on! Come on, bitch. That was probably a mistake to use. Don't hesitate. Witness my strength! Ah, oh, I don't have that thing. This floor would be useful if it moved in the direction we wanted to go in. It's so frustrating that it's not. Yes, it is frustrating. Although, it does appear that running on it would be a good workout. The lasers are too fast. Maybe we should find a different route. It's too early to give up. There is a way you can move faster than the lasers, remember? Lucas power. Y'all. Well, nice. I mean, I kind of do the same thing when I play games like that. Um. I'm wondering how many of you've actually found. I'm wondering which ones you didn't recognize as Easter eggs. Oh god, please tell me you've run across man and his horse. Random event. Dude approaches you. Begging for help. <coughs> because she's been she can kidnap. Talking all this nonsense makes it sound like his wife has been fucking abducted. Turns out it's his fucking horse. Turns out his horse is his wife. And then you cannot ever see that quest quite in the same light again once you once that fully dawns on you. Take it. <laughs> if you haven't found it, I just gave you a spoiler, apologies. But it's effectively a tr uh throwback to the first uh, Red Dead game. What's up? 
Dougie's a crunch around Nexus. Or peeping at him. Yeah. I think you have a book waiting for you. Guess I reads the book. Oh. I mean, it as is the Nuggie bedtime. As you read, more and more Nuggies fall asleep on you. Oh, you. Yeah. All right, let's see what is in store for me next. I've got about 15 minutes. Why does it feel like I don't want to suck on that? It sprayed something like oil. Don't get it on you. My pleasure. drain you dry and then you don't fucking pick me up. That's a phrase. <coughs> Nexus, that was the worst sound you could have made in that moment. I was coughing, bitch. How the <laughs> fuck is that the worst sound? Because of what I said. <laughs> Now you're making me choke. <laughs> oh, woo. Oh, hold on, I gotta give it a little blowy blowy so it'll pop. And yes, I just said that. I didn't even hear. I was a bit. Distracted. Not gonna lie. Fuck. <laughs> Sucks for you. I'm giving you gold and you're eating ass. I need support! Did you say I'm eating ass? Yes. Spray something like oil. Don't get it on you. I tell you the fifth. That attack worked. That must be a weak spot. Yeah. If your body begins to burn with fire, it'll drain your health. So be careful. Leave it to me. It's over. That was a good attack. Get buckled on, lady. <laughs> Game, why you gotta fuck me like that? Luca. 
That's not a friendly way to fuck someone. Stop it. <laughs> That's really not the friendly way to fuck someone. What the shit? That projectile confuses you temporarily. Don't get hit. <laughs> you know what? Never mind. God damn, I forgot about you. Gonna turn you into glue, motherfucker. That is not what I wanted! Yuito? No shit, your power is recharging, numbnuts! Thanks, Luca! Is everyone okay? You know, everybody will be... Why well, can't... There we go. My pleasure. What the 
What the fuck, lady? Yes, Burb? <laughs> yes, Burb? Hello? I don't think that was Burb. Was that you? I don't know what happened. Somebody called my name. I think you might be going nuts. <laughs> I heard a hey kit. I in the middle of a fight, I said hold up. Like was I talking to myself? <laughs> Maybe? I don't know. Fuck. Watch me be here being here gaslighting my fucking self. Jesus. Aiden fucking heard it. <laughs> Oh, he heard it too? Okay. Uh huh! Because, quote, so if kids are going nuts, then I'm on the same plane of insanity. Oh, well, shit. So, ha! Hey, <laughs> Burb! Um, no. Yes. <laughs> What's up? Uh, I found out what the <laughs> was that I didn't, wasn't expecting. What? When I had my computer checked in at Best Buy, they had, they thought this, they probably installed a their own antivirus on there for a period of time. That's what, what we knew. The fuck? So a built-in auto renew. Yes. That's illegal. My dad probably consented to it without no. My dad took it in. I didn't take it in. Oh, God. Your mom's gonna have a field day with that. <laughs> oh, no. It's like... I At this point, I don't care. I know. I'm thinking more... She's a lawyer, yeah? The absurdity that? of that. Like, on a legal standpoint. If even I get a kick out of that, she's... Probably gonna get a fucking absolute kick out of it. Oh, I, the only reason I can't request a refund is because I don't have the. Because I never set up an account, so I don't have the invoice. I'm gonna call Jesus him tomorrow shit. when you ask about. I'm gonna call him tomorrow. I'll sort it out. Okay. I'm trying to think, is that like a cash grab on their part? <laughs> kind of. Uh, I rubbed my nose raw. Because of the fact that I've been coughing up phlegm, I've saved like 
fucking five times now. We're gonna. Because mm. I've been coughing up phlegm, I have to wear a uh, mask. Oh, isn't that just peachy? Yes. Nose really hates it. <laughs> Especially when I start coughing because the whole thing just feels like a slug on my face. <laughs> Jesus. Hey, kid. I can't explain that any worse, but I can't explain it any better either. Look at Nexus, he's covered in sleeping nuggies. Help. Oh. It's worse than having your cat fall asleep on you. <laughs> I mean, a cat, you just gotta worry about four sets of claws. Anyways, folks, <coughs> we are at the end of our time. We're actually over time, so this is where we're going to leave off. So, if you enjoy the gameplay or the commentary, give us a like. If you want to keep up with this or any of our other content, hit subscribe and ring the bell. Become part of our notification squad so you can see when we upload when we go live. But for now, this is Kit the Soul of Sand Cruz signing off. So until next time, everybody, bye-bye. Goodbye, everybody. Hey, Nexus, can I play with your brain? Possibly. I'm not sure how much longer I'll be up. I mean, that's fine, so long as we can do you. We're going to your world! Ah. Uh, okay, what give me one are we second. talking about? I don't know. Outward, I believe. Well, no, it, that's, that's the other thing. Hey, Burb, what are you doing? Not Nexus. Ain't nobody doing Nexus. Well, no, I mean, if you're joining in, me and Nexus would be doing you. Well, actually, no, we'd all be doing Chris if we can talk him into it. This is starting to sound really terrifying. Just a wee bit. <laughs> I think it sound like we're gonna run a conga line on my brother. Fucking <laughs> Christ. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs>